Hello folks and welcome back to the Panzer. As you can see you're kind of catching me here in the middle of some uh, brake work um, which is one of many jobs that I've been doing on the car recently uh, in preparation for going through the NCT or National Car Test uh, which is going to be happening this day week. So I've never bought a BMW that had a, wor a working ha handbrake and the Panzer yeah, is pretty much no exception here. I um, don't know if you'll be able to see this, but this is one of the old shoes and uh, the lining has pretty much broken away or been burnt away from it. Um, probably from the classic of driving with the handbrake on. And these are actually BMW shoes, so um, they could even be the factory shoes. So. I'm just in the middle of this job, so I hope you, you, you guys won't mind, uh, but I'm just going to give you a bit of an update here, and I'm going to be kind of talking and working at the same, t at the same time. Um, so, yeah, the Panzer recently um, has been doing a lot of these little general car jobs, and unfortunately... Uh, it doesn't make for particularly interesting video um, of kind of things like getting the ABS working and things like um, oh, sorting out the electric windows, making sure they're working. Um, what else will we doing? Just lights and so on. And today, as you can see, we're... Uh, just in the depths of pretty general kind of car work here, getting uh, the handbrake sorted sorted out. So once that's done, uh, we're definitely a step closer to um, being able to uh, legally uh, take the car out on the road for much longer uh, spins. So that's kind of what we're working at. Now, do have a bit of a problem though. Let's get those shoes on there. I was saying, we have a bit of a problem. It seems my local motor taxation office, who have to um, change the particulars on the register registration for the car, I uh, don't quite believe that this is an electric vehicle and I'm engaged in a process with them now uh, where if things go sufficiently badly I might end up not being being able to tax this, this car and hence legally drive it on the roads. So as I was saying guys um, I am in a position now where I'm not even sure that I'm going to be able to get this car uh, legally on the road as an electric vehicle, uh, thanks to what is ultimately um, just a bit of silly bureaucracy. Uh, so I will keep you guys posted on that um, as inform information becomes available. Um, so the other, I suppose, thing that tends to slow me down with a lot of these projects, particularly the physical car-based stuff, is what you see behind you, rain. Uh, I'm in the unfortunate position that I, do, I don't have a indoor workspace uh, to operate on the cars, so when I need to do work on the cars, it needs to be done on the driveway uh, and I'm subject to ever more chaotic we we weather patterns. Um, so pretty much I've also got some exciting stuff coming up for the Panzer this year. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, might be some pretty serious changes to the current setup. Um, and uh, yeah, so it has been a slower project than I would have liked, certainly. 
Um, I kind of thought certain elements of it would come together a lot quicker than they have, sadly. Uh, but, you know, that's just life. Uh, it's part of this particular process. Alright guys, so um, I'm going to sign off, wait for this rain to finish so I can get these uh, brake shoes sorted out finally. And uh, we'll be back soon uh, with another update shortly uh, with hopefully some results from the test and to see if we can get through this little bit of bureaucracy uh, that seems to be uh, getting in the way. So. Thanks very much guys for watching my videos, thank you for subscribing and uh, we'll be back soon with some more updates.